Hello everyone, how are you and what are you doing? This is Civic Dude and we are going to play some more Minecraft, guys. Thought I would record an episode real quick. I have about eh, 20 or 30 minutes or so, so I thought I'd throw on the recorder and get started. We're going to make a uh, an automatic wheat farm today. We're going to transform this and bring it downstairs and make it much more compact and automatic. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the model that I'm going to be using is based off of uh, Generic B, who based it off of uh, someone else. I cannot remember who it was. If it was you, I apologize. But I will link uh, Generic B's version in the video description. And I'm going to have to modify his a little bit because his goes back probably 14 or so blocks. I don't have that luxury. I only have six blocks. Really only five because this is the the wall and so I cannot put anything here. So I had to modify his and make it more vertical. And the way that it works is you place a dispenser there and a dispenser there. One has seeds, the other has bone meal, like so. And you basically start with one seed and you stand right here and there is a piece of dirt right there that is tilled and it uh, once you place a seed there's a bud switch that activates and I'm just going to go ahead and start building it while I'm telling you about it there's a bud switch that activates and it uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay so it uh, tells the other dispenser over here to shoot out a piece of bone meal and once you have the bone meal you continue to hold down the right mouse button and it will uh, grow the wheat which will then trigger the bud switch again which will harvest the wheat and shoot another seed from this dispenser and then you just repeat the process over and over for as how many however many seeds you want okay so let's get started here I'm gonna use different colored wool for the different sections of this build because it is rather tight in spaces and hopefully I can get this done properly. Let's see, I think it goes there. And this is just a basic bud switch that uh, you can find just about anywhere. Let's don't put it there. Oops. Nope, not there either. Dang it. Okay, so I built this thing probably. I, I tried to do it three different ways, really, to get it to work right. It was tough to get the uh, the dimensions that I needed because uh, this is such a small space. But I was finally able... There we go. I was finally able to get it to... Uh, oh, what? Did I do that wrong? I think I might have done it wrong. Maybe it goes this way. Maybe it goes this way. Nope. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, let's go check it out real quick. I could have sworn I had it right, but... Like I always say, I'm not the best redstoner, so... Okay. So... Oh, duh. I have to push a block. What am I thinking? Oh, don't throw it. Okay. Well, five minutes in and we've already made one mistake, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. Give me that piece back. Okay. Okay. Now, what we have to do... 
is there, there. Okay, torch goes there. That pushes the block on top of it, which then sends power. Not, what am I doing? Sends power to that block, which then inverts it up to the top, just like so. Like that. Okay. I think that's right. Nope. Why am I doing this wrong? Okay, let's think. Think, think, think. Hang in. Hang in there, guys. We'll get this right. Okay. Oh, that's it. I'm powering the wrong block with the... I see it now. I'll show you. Let me show something to you. Need to power this block, not the one on top of the piston. That's what it was. So, let's see. Okay. There we go. Now we invert it here. Send it like that. There we go. See? So easy. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So there's the first part of it. Now, the next part, we have to bring the signal down. Like so. Into a uh, supercharged or super powered T flip flop. And these are really not that hard to do. Hopefully this pick won't break on me too quick. These really aren't that hard to do. Oh wait, no, I was going to use a different colored wool. Okay, so let me rip this out real quick. And we'll use gray for this one. Okay. There. Now, what we have to do is not that. I have to send the power into that block, which has a torch on it, and another block above it. Getting a little claustrophobic in here. This was about as compact a way as I could think to do this. So, uh, let me think. How does this go? I'm probably going to be jumping back to the test world quite a bit just because this takes extreme accuracy. Okay. Wait, let's go back. And the pick is gone. That's okay. I really need another pick, though. Okay, I will uh, do, 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 get a pick real quick, and then we'll jump right back into it. Iron one won't really do, so let's make a let's make an iron pick. Okay, sorry for the delay, guys did not think that this would take so long. That's okay. And I'm really glad I decided to do this because I was trying to figure out what to do with this little space right here. And I think this will work out great. Okay. Now, right here 
is where the T flip flop goes. Oh, we're going to have to replace that wall. That's okay. It uh, shouldn't be in the way. Okay, torch there. Torch there. Why is that powered? I guess it's just powered by default, maybe? Okay, so we need a regular piston to go right there with a block and then a regular piston to go right there. There we go. Now, torch is going to be there, which will then send the power this way. Okay, so now the next color. And we gotta go down a little bit because we need some space. Nope. Sorry if this video seems a little hasty, guys. I'm uh, going to a baseball game later on today, so I'm trying to do this quick before the in-laws get here. It's Mother's Day after all, and since it's Mother's Day, I need to. I would be remiss if I did not wish my wife Happy Mother's Day and thank her for everything that she does. You are the best, baby. Okay. Let's see. Next thing that needs to happen is this signal has to split from, and I think I can actually, I don't need it to go that low, I don't think. But I have to take it uh, and split it and send one of them in the direction of uh, one of the dispensers and the other one in the direction of a monostable circuit that we'll make. So let me dig out a little bit here, gather up this wonderful iron, and hopefully we can connect all this stuff together and make it work. Because there's nothing worse than putting effort into a video, building something, and it not working. So embarrassing, guys. It's just so embarrassing. Okay. Goes that way that way I'm gonna use the stone for this one because it's becoming uh, there's too much of it and I don't have enough wool and while I'm at a pausing point let's go check the practice world to see how much space I actually allotted okay so I went oh, I only went down one wow okay one and then two. Okay. So I'm making it less compact by by doing this. Okay, so let's go up one, up two, over and then we shall use the yellow one and I think I can actually bring that up one there we go okay now uh, oh no I can't get down there that's okay I'll find a way Okay, so let me bring this down one, and I need to build this up just a little bit, and we're going to use red again, just because we can, and let's see, it goes into there, part of the monostable circuit there. That needs to be at full delay. And I gotta tell you guys, after learning some of these 
uh, redstone mechanics like uh, RS Nor latches, T flip flops, monostable circuits. These things are awesome. You can do so many things with these guys. It's just it's amazing what what uh, opens up once you learn about all these possibilities. Okay. Now, nope, not there. That, that. There we go. Okay, so that will. Basically, what this does is. Uh, okay, yeah. Basically, what the monostable circuit does, if you don't know, is it takes a uh, stable current and makes it into a pulsing current. So you uh, have a solid current on the right here. Connect it to the monostable circuit, and it will cause the monostable circuit to flicker, basically. Notice that? Off, on. That gives a pulse. That will. That is what we're going to use to actually connect the uh, piston that will retract and harvest the wheat. So speaking of that, let's get up there and build that part of it so we can know where to connect to. Okay. Up, up, up. And we need to go right here. So, it's a sticky piston. And it goes just like that. Okay, so now we basically just need to uh, send the power up to there. The way that we're going to do that is pretty simple. Just some standard vertical wiring, but we have to use a repeater in order to uh, keep the redstone from getting all funky on us. Okay, and it's a little, cla a little cramped in here right now, I know. I'll try and light it up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. But we basically have to send the power into there, into that piston. So let's do that, that, and then one more right here where I'm standing. Like that. Okay, now, repeater. And that's the part I was talking about. Notice how the redstone connects to the bottom down here. We don't want that. So I'm going to put the repeater actually right here instead. To uh, prevent that from happening. Okay, so there we go. Actually, what am I doing? I don't even need this. There we go. Now I don't think I have any delay on that. Let me go check though to verify. Okay, so it goes around. And see I actually did this a little un or a little less compact than uh than I could have. Oh okay, I do actually have it on one click delay. Oh, I see. I powered a different block. Huh. Well, it should still work. Okay. And pausing for a drink. Station identification. Okay. So let's set that on one tick. And let's go test it out because this should... What am I doing? Every other uh, block update, this should pulse the floor, or the block right here. So, redstone does it once. Oh no, it didn't pulse. Okay, let's try it one more time. Hmm. Well, I don't like that. 
Why isn't it doing it right? Hmm. Well, let's see. Power goes in there. Up there. Delayed there. I don't think I'm getting anything crossed, any wires crossed or anything like that. So... Let me dig out a little bit here so we can see what we're doing. Okay, now... Let's go right up here and just see what happens. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what it is. I did. I know what I did wrong. Okay. The reason that I, in my practice world, the reason that I powered the block that is positioned right here is because if I have a block right here, it cuts the line, which breaks the monostable circuit. So... I just have to move. I'm sorry, I told you wrong. Power the block that is right there. So we just had to move it out a little bit, and that should fix the problem. Okay, so let's try it again. There we go, there's a pulse. Now this time it should not do anything. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so that's the basic idea of this entire thing. The next thing we have to do is just run some wiring for the dispensers. And the way that we get those to work is one of them will be a regular wire, the other will be an inverted wire, so that one of them will fire, or so that each one will fire um, every other time. If that makes any sense. <laughs> that did not come out of my mouth as well as it should have. Okay, so we basically have to grab the yellow, get, there we go. Like that, and what we're going to do is power, uh, the block beside the dispenser. So, like that, and like that. You heard, you heard, it, you heard it click. That is a good sign, guys. That is a good sign. Now I need to stick a repeater in here to make give it one tick delay. And I'm trying to remember the best spot to do that. I think it's right here. I think. Think, think, think. So what I would do would be... Let me see how I did it in the, the other one. I told you I'd be checking this thing a lot because it's very compact and very confusing. Uh, let's see. How did I do this? Okay, so I went down one, up, one there, oh, that's probably what it is, one there, up again, yeah, okay. Okay, so, no, that's right. Um, excuse me? Perhaps there. Because in the practice world, what I'm doing is powering this block. Oh, there we go. That's how it works. Just like a so.
that. There, 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 and there. There we go. Perfect. I grab up this bone meal. I don't have a. I haven't finished my skeleton farm yet, which we're gonna have to do again, or not again. We're gonna have to do the skeleton farm very soon because I need bone meal for this thing to work, and I don't have a way to get that very quickly yet. Okay, so that is that part of it. Now, to get the other dispenser to work, what I did and what I will do is let's use wooden planks for this. Yeah, that sounds good. As I ran a line down this way, underneath everything here. to uh, fire the other dispenser. So let's see how we can do this. Got to break all this so I can put the wooden planks so I can help myself stay organized. That. Wires, wires everywhere. Now, what I have to do is put blocks there so that they cut the line and they don't interfere with the monostable circuit. And let's see. To invert it, what we're going to do is run it into. Do I have my. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to run it into this block, or sorry, dang it, into that block there, which then inverts it right there. Now we're going to start going up. So, To do that, we have to power that block, which will then not power the line. Oh, sorry. Which will then power not that. What? What the? Oh. There we go. Yeah. Which will then power that block, which I think I can actually do it this way, which would be better, I think. And now we're going to send it up here. It's only this is close, tight quarters. And we need a block to separate it here. So let's use our cobblestone. And let me put that redstone back. There, got to break that line. There we go. Send it up here, like that. And, oh, uh, we're going to send it into, oh, shoot, did it wrong again. into... I need the bricks. Give me the bricks. That block. Oh yeah! Is that right? Okay, I did something wrong because there's supposed to be a repeater somewhere. Let's check it out, boys. And girls, of course. Don't want to forget the girls, especially on Mother's Day. Oh, that's right. I went out one more. One more block. Blocketta. Hmm. So let's think of a way to do that. Okay. So what I need is Peter there and give me this and this. And I need that there like that. 
So that has to happen, no matter what. So, the way to do that would be, let's see, we're going to we have to drop it at least once right there. And break that out so we can get so we can tell what we're doing. Okay, so we can come up right here and then maybe up right there. So we're going to go like that, that. Hopefully I haven't broken out anything important. Like that, sweet, this is working great. And then that. That should do it. Okay, so let's try and wire this guy up. Man, this is so cramped in here. <laughs> I'm going to need to put torches everywhere so that nothing spawns in here. Because we do not want anything getting messed up down here. Okay, so we go back to where we were, and wire it up there, there, and there. That should be it. Okay, now the moment of truth. Let us... Place a block there, 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 and all of this is to uh, keep the stuff from flying away. Okay, whenever it uh, harvests the wool, that's what I'm trying to say. Not the wool, the wheat. Okay, so what I should be able to do in theory now. Which one's powered? Okay. So, I need to basically switch these two. The reason is that the, uh, the one on the left here is the one that's going to fire next, and so I need that to be bone meal. So what I should be able to do is stand here and hold down the right button after I till the earth and put some water in, of course. Come on, guys, you didn't think I was going to try that without anything in the ground, any water in the ground, did you? Actually, I totally was. I was totally going to do that. You guys don't even know. You don't even know, man. Okay, so let's go find some water. Sprint, sprint, sprint. And we're back. So we got some water, and now we gotta find a place to put it. Now what I should be able to do is put this water hmm. I was thinking right here is where I put it in the other one. But that won't work. So what about, no, oh shoot, where did I put it? Okay, let me go see the other one real quick because this is crucial, this is critical. Oh no, I didn't put it anywhere. <laughs> oh no. Please tell me this is still going to work. Okay, maybe I can put it behind there. Because it only has to be within four blocks. It's not that. Uh, it's not that picky. Okay. So, yeah, we can put it back here. Okay. So we need to. Needs to be not there, but down there is where the water has to be. 
So... Actually, watch this. I bet I can, I bet I can put it right here. Without blocking anything. Yep. Perfect. Okay, now, tilt the earth. And let's test it out. Okay. Let me clear the inventory bar. Okay, here's hoping that it works. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hold down the right button, right mouse button and it should work. Oh, immediate failure. <laughs> okay. So that did not work. Why didn't that work? Hmm. Okay, guys, we got it all working. Uh, what basically was going on was the line that we ran to uh, invert the signal for the one dispenser was interfering with the monostable circuit, I think, or not not that. I think it was interfering with the uh, piston that pushes the dirt up and down. So basically what I had to do was invert it farther back in the, th in the system, uh, which fixed that problem. So let me go upstairs and I'll show you how it works real quick. It's not totally bug free yet, um, but it's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so you basically stand here, plant the feet, the seed, you get a bone meal, you hit that, another seed pops out, another bone meal, so on and so forth. Now the problem with this is sometimes I'll get two, I'll get a seed in my inventory from the wheat that pops off the dirt. That will clog up my system, so I won't be able to use the method where I just hold down the right button. But, uh... Oh, I'm out. That's why. But, uh, for the most part, it works just great. So, that is it, guys. We have finished. Um, wasn't too bad, I hope. I hope. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, um, I would appreciate it if you guys let me know what you think about this. I can't take credit for it, obviously, but I did, I did redesign it, so uh, I can take credit for that. But, anyways, I want to thank you guys for stopping in, and I will see you guys next time when we hopefully start with the skeleton spawner because we need it now because we need some bone meal for this thing to work. So. See you guys next time.